Good evening, you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. I'm Navya Singh. Let's begin with the headlines today. Now, while there is a lot happening across the world, it's important to bring back the focus on COVID-19. India has over 36.91 lakh coronavirus cases after more than 69,900 fresh infections were reported just in the last 24 hours. Over 28 lakh patients in India have already recovered of the deadly virus, pushing the recovery rate to 76.62% in the country. The fatality rate in India has also dropped to 1.78%. Maharashtra continues to be the worst hit state due to COVID-19, followed by Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Meanwhile, the health ministry has said that 70% of the deaths that occurred in the country were due to comorbidities. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, India has recorded over 2 million cases just in the month of August. In another major news, the Allahabad High Court today on 1st of September said that the detention of Uttar Pradesh Dr. Dr. Kafil Khan under the stringent National Security Act, which is the NSA, is illegal. The High Court also ordered for his immediate release. In its order, the High Court mentioned that a district magistrate had selective reading of certain phrases completely ignoring the intent behind the speech. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Kafil Khan was charged with the stringent NSA last year in December when he delivered a speech against the Citizenship Amendment Act at Aligarh Muslim University. The FIR filed against him on 13th December 2019 mentioned that Dr. Kafil Khan tried to disturb communal harmony. In an extremely damning report published by the Indian Express, it mentions that the Bharatiya Janata Party during the elections back in January 2019 flagged at least 44 pages on Facebook claiming that those pages were in violation of the expected standards and were also not in line with facts. According to the Indian Express report, it mentions that as of 31st August, 14 of these pages are not on Facebook. Pages flagged by the BJP include the official Bhim Army page, a satire page called We Hate BJP, several unofficial Congress supporting pages, and also a page called The Truth of Gujarat. Several other pages that are in support of journalists Vinod Dua and Ravish Kumar were also flagged by the BJP. A day after the Wall Street Journal published an article pointing out some internal posts by Facebook India's public policy head Anki Das, between the period 2012 to 2014, when the BJP or in particular Narendra Modi benefited electorally, the Facebook has said that those posts have been taken out of context. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal article back in October 2012, Anki Das wrote, success in our Gujarat campaign. Now, this was talking of the training of the Narendra Modi's team and also when it was close to reaching a million fans on Facebook. According to the article, the day before Modi and the BJP swept to victory back in 2014, Anki Das wrote, We lit a fire to his social media campaign and the rest is of course history. This was shared on a group created for the Facebook's employees in India. In one of the messages that she mentioned on the group, she also referred to Modi as George Washington Bush and also praised him as a strong man for ending the Congress rule. Ending the news segment with some very positive news. For the very first time, a women IPS officer has been appointed as the Inspector General or the IG of the CRPF in Jammu and Kashmir's Srinagar sector. Charu Sinha will now be heading the CRPF in Srinagar sector. Now, this is not the first time that she's been tasked with such a difficult or a challenging role. Charu Sinha has also served as, as the Inspector General or the IG in Bihar sector where she dealt with Naxalites. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.